In this video, I'll show you how to stop a second low frequency oscillation and load vibration when vibration suppression is already active by adjusting PN140 and 14A. Hi, I'm Matt Pillett here. This is the same linear motor system you may have already seen in a different video with two loads mounted on long rods. It's a direct drive system with a coil moving above the magnet track and a linear encoder for feedback. I'm connected to the Sigma 7 amplifier with Sigma Win Plus and I'll be commanding the move through program jog operation, although it could also originate from the controller. In a previous video, I ran advanced auto tuning and this stopped the tall rod from vibrating. But upon closer inspection, I can see that the load on the shorter rod is also vibrating. In fact, I've adjusted the trace to show this oscillation in both the position error signal and the force signal here. The position error amplitude is less than one micron on the carriage, but up at the load, it is certainly much higher. So I'm going to find out what this frequency is and set that into parameter PN14A. To do that, it's a good idea to zoom in to a few cycles of that oscillation, then use the cursor to go from the peak of one oscillation to the peak of the next. And then you can read here that frequency at 23.8. Maybe I'll do another one here. 22.7, another one, 22.7. So now all we need to do is take that information here back to the edit parameters and go to the PN140s here. PN140.1 is set for perform vibration suppression for a specific frequency, but I'm going to need two specific frequencies. The first frequency has already been set by advanced auto tuning, that was 6.4 hertz. The second frequency is PN14A vibration suppression 2 frequency. I'll enter 227 for 22.7 hertz because of the unit here. We'll write in the edited parameters and let's see if that clears up the trace here. We'll servo on and execute to run this again. Capture one trace. And now that 22.7 hertz vibration amplitude is down to plus or minus one encoder pulse at the carriage. That's vibration suppression over two frequencies. Thank you for watching this video. And please note that the product manual contains a detailed section on tuning. Additionally, Yaskawa offers free hands-on self-guided video training covering the basics of Sigma Win Plus software and servo tuning at www.yaskawa.com slash self-guided. We also offer a live tuning lab where you can come in and tune a mechanism like this for yourself with the guidance of the instructor. For more information, please go to yaskawa.com.